long-term effects of rheumatoid arthritis vary from person to person, just like everything else associated with the disease. A uh, mitigating factor, a huge mitigating factor in that is the patient's access to and compliance and effectiveness of treatment. Um, so many variables in play there. In past history, before the development, uh, particularly of biologic drugs, rheumatoid arthritis patients faced a much more grim outlook. Um, and you did often see joint deformity um, in cases like that. This is less common now because we have newer and more effective medication to slow and maybe even stop progression of the disease, but that doesn't make anyone immune from joint deformity or loss of function in a joint. Um, talking to rheumatoid arthritis patients, you will often find they have required surgical intervention on joints, replacement of joints, fixation of joints. But again, that varies from person to person. There, and I don't mean to repeat myself, but there are endless variables within the disease and each person's response to it. And it's important when you're looking at down the road and looking at outlooks and outcomes for rheumatoid arthritis patients to remember, this is a whole disease process that's not limited to joints. So you have to look at things like cardiovascular involvement. I'm not gonna cite statistics because I don't wanna spew out wrong numbers, but there's a huge increased risk for cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular events in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. High levels of inflammatory markers, you know, aren't limited to joints. You know, you're looking at inflammation that can affect you anywhere, uh, basically. And so cardiovascular risks are huge. And this is, you know, why it's important, again, to have a team of providers who are looking at your whole body and not just focusing on your joints. Common cardiovascular effects of rheumatoid arthritis can include chronic pericarditis, which is an inflammation in the sac around the heart, effusion, collection of fluid in that same sac, um, rhythm disturbances, um, risk for myocardial infarctions or heart attacks. And the same goes for respiratory involvement. You can have symptoms that you know mimic asthma or mimic COPD that's due to chronic inflammation in the lungs and other body sim uh, systems. So everyone's outlook on for rheumatoid arthritis is different. There's no way to predict what systems of the body will be affected and what will be spared. There's no way to predict the joint involvement. Um, it just, there's too many variables from person to person and case to case and everybody, as in the body, responds differently. But the reality is without intervention, and appropriate intervention, there will be progression. It isn't just going to go away or just stop on its own.